welcome to another episode of To The Point Tutorials, a series that bypasses all the fluff and focuses on what you really want to know. Let's begin. What makes a good video tutorial? Here are seven essential components to help you create outstanding audiovisual content. Simplicity. Tutorials need to be clear, concise, and to the point. When you start thinking about making a video, it is important to set specific learning outcomes, LOs. Please be mindful that all contents, methods, resources should align with the outcomes. The LOs should be measurable and attainable. Don't be overly ambitious with the number of learning outcomes set per video. Fluidity. It is important to show your ideas in a coherent and fluid way. If there is no natural sequence to the content, then it is important to group together similar ideas and concepts. Speed. Delivery speed is an important consideration when creating a video. If it is too fast, you will risk being erratic or misunderstood, but if it is too slow, you will put your audience to sleep. Pay close attention to inflection and how you read while narrating, as you don't want to sound unnatural or robotic. Don't over-explain yourself, even if you are addressing complex topics. Since you are using video to convey your message, the audience will always be able to pause, rewind or rewatch it. Record audio and video separately. It is easier to control the quality, level of detail and pace when editing your final cut. Complexity. Please bear in mind the cognitive load as working memory is limited in capacity and duration. Educators know their students better than anyone and will be aware of their capacity. It is important to note, however, that research suggests video engagement peaks at approximately 6 minutes. It is advisable to divide a topic into several videos instead of creating a feature film. Keep things simple and to the point. Demand. It is important to create content which will be tailor-made for your target audience and delivered in the appropriate time frame. Before filling up a Moodle page with an excessive number of screencasts, the educator should pose the following questions. What type of content will appeal to my students? Will the content delivery be able to cater for different learning styles? Will I be able to act upon student feedback and improve my content for future cohorts? Inclusivity. Don't forget that your students are likely to be a diverse body. If you have students with individual learning needs, you should adapt your content to them. Depending on the composition of the student body, the following may be appropriate. Subtitles with large fonts, multi-language audio dubs, and a sign language translator. Quality. It is important to have quality educational content, but if the technical quality of the video is low, you are likely to lose engagement. There are a myriad of options on YouTube when it comes to learning materials. These are usually of excellent quality. In the modern era, the educator needs to have a great sounding voice and a crisp HD image. Try to keep the video aesthetically simple though. Don't overdo it when it comes to effects and transitions. Technical equipment has been covered in another tutorial, which you can find in the link at the upper right corner. When it comes to software, there are lots of options on offer, such as Active Presenter, QuickTime, Camtasia, Final Cut and Premiere. Thank you very much. I hope this was useful. I'll see you in the next episode.